what is happening all my fellow editors today I got a pretty cool tutorial and what it is is this like 3d scope thing where it comes flying in the middle like that and then it comes around the sides and it's like Psh! cool transition bro so that's what it is I'm gonna put that on t-shirt cool transition bro and um, that's that's it that's what we're gonna learn so it's uh, pretty straightforward it's not very hard at all no plugins at all it's just all 3d scaling and stuff so here we've got sort Ollie's uh, rockin suicide thing and then right here I've already I've just split the first half of this clip out and because you don't need it you're not gonna see any of it and what I did is I actually just uh, cut it at the frame where you can see the bullet is right here thing that looks like a big schlong coming out of his like ghillie suit um, right there so we're gonna split it right there and we're gonna uh, duplicate the clip so hit control and hold it and then hit C and then hit V and then you're gonna hit control copy and then paste it and that's how you do it right click on that layer hit time and then hit freeze frame and there you go now you've got a frozen layer so we don't need the whole thing we'll get rid of that second half now we're gonna mask out the scope so this is pretty easy to do just uh, for perfect circles I use the elliptic tool and kind of just uh, guesstimate it um, that was actually pretty good and then you can actually um, edit like where the circle goes and stuff so what we will do is click on the points not that there we go so click on your select like the pen or not the selection tool click up here where it says mask and then you, if you click on the points you can drag them so what I do is you can see you've got the crosshairs that go to each end of the scope I always put like that point right on there and it helps to be exact because it's the little details like this that make your edit so awesome and then we will put that down a little bit and then you can actually grab the sides like this and mess with it so that's actually pretty good already obviously you'd spend more time than 30 seconds on it so one thing I do to make it among, uh, my mask look a little bit better is I turn this down the mask, this mask a one and I just make the feather here to like five and it just kind of makes it look a little bit nicer it's, it's good as it is and that's just kind of a little secret to it uh, now we're gonna duplicate this layer so we're gonna hit control hold it C and then V and there we go and this time we're gonna invert it so we're just going to go down to our mask and check inverted and now we have this so if we turn if we turn the top layer off, there's that. If we turn the bottom layer off, there's that. So that's what we did. And we're going to um, actually work with the uh, scope itself, so the actual circle that we first masked. So we're going to turn this top layer off for now. We're just going to leave it, though. What we want to do is go to the last part right where the guy shoots. So here is the first frame in the where it goes back to normal again. So what we want to do right here, uh, right here, actually, is uh, we're going to make it into a 3D object. So that would be right here. If you uh, just click on the toggle switch mode until you have the shape right here, it says 3D layer, and check that. And then we're gonna scale it, keyframe it at 100, go back a little bit, like not too far, like maybe half a second, and we're gonna bring it down to zero. So then, if we watch that, it looks like it's coming at you. So that's kind of cool. And then the next thing is to add the rotation where it spins. So that's easy too. Hit R on your keyboard. You should have X, Y, and Z. If not, you just need to make sure it's a 3D layer by clicking on the cube thing right here. Keyframe all of them. Now we're going to go back to right where the scaling started. So we'll hit U on our keyboard to get that for, for sure. Right there it started. And we're going to bring the Y rotation up to like, I don't know, 104. And the Y to like 100. 60 and then the Z down really it's all just your own like preference so like if that's not the kind of way you wanted it to look just go back to the keyframes and change it so instead how about we make them all positive and we'll see what it looks like there we go it's there now it kind of comes flying in it's kind of cool so we'll do that um, of course highlight all your keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease and it just makes them look so much nicer and it eases them in and um uh, so yeah, that's the basic scope part. Now for the other one, and that's the bars that are not bars, like the sides that come in on the sides, I guess. They're easy to do as well. So we're going to turn our top layer back on right here. And if you didn't know how I did that, it's that little eyeball thing. And what we want to do is go to right where our scope is perfectly in. We're going to hit scale. We don't need to make it a 3D layer because we're not rotating it. Right click on scale. We're going to go back to sort of the middle. So right here is where the uh, scaling rotating started of the scope itself. So we are going to go to the middle of that zero keyframe that zero or not zero actually take it back. We got to make it go up. So it's got to be up at like 100 like 280 78. 
and then if we watch it in, it's going to come in like that, and then the shot is made. So that's the transition. Um, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. I like the I like this transition a lot. I use it um, I use it quite a bit. Uh, so that's it. If you need to mess with the time, like uh, just I might move this in a little bit. There we go. And then that way it comes in perfectly timed, and then he shoots. And then you can add your Twitch and everything after that. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Don't forget to click like down below if you found it uh, helpful at all or you're going to use it. Also, if you're new to my channel, I make tutorials. I try to make them every day, and um, you can learn how to be a good editor if this is like, you know, you just starting off. Also, I get requests to do a lot of other tutorials. Um, one way you can see, I've like a lot of them I've done already, like Wiggle, for example. Uh, what you can do is actually go on my channel and there's like a little search bar um, I'll actually show you what I mean right now and it's uh, you can type in pretty much whatever you want and I will show you give you an example of what I mean so here we go here's my channel right here so here it says search channel we'll type in we'll type in wiggle just plain old wiggle and look there's already a tutorial for it so there you go um, if you want to type another one like Twitch, maybe we'll see if there's a tutorial for Twitch. Though, look, we've got a lot of Twitch. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions or comments or likes or favorites or dislikes or subscribers, leave it in the somewhere on the YouTube. I don't care. Bye.